What's going on guys? I know the sun's shining, it looks nice. It's spring, I suppose. At least that's what the calendar says. If the temperature says otherwise, it's 28 degrees. But I'm ready to get this pond open. So come on with me and let's do this. The pond's been dormant all winter, but don't let that fool you. Algae still grows, even when it's super cold out. All right, so the best bet for me, I'm not draining my pond this year, so I'm just gonna use a pond net, go through and start scooping out some of these leaves. I've already begun before I started filming this, and you can see by the pile on the ground, uh, it's gonna take me a little while. I'm just gonna keep at it, trim some of these tall grasses down, and get things back in order, even though it's only 28 degrees, but that's, uh, that's the plan for today, the sun's shining. Just enjoy the day guys. When it's springtime in your area, get outside. It's good for you, keeps you healthy, and just keep uh, enjoying that water garden. All right, so now is a good opportunity to take your pump. And over the course of the season, this thing can get filled with roots and other things like that. So it's a good thing in the spring to take this all apart and clean it. All right, so on your pump, this comes right off. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And this, this protects your impeller from getting uh, rocks and whatnot getting sucked in. And you just look in here and see what shape it's in. Obviously don't turn it on when your finger's in there. I have to say that because people do silly things sometimes. But that's what, that's what moves the water through your system. And then once you clean it all out, like you can see right in here, it's pretty clean. You know, there's some sludge or whatever, but once you clean it out, then you can just slide that back on and put it back in. Now I left my pump in all, all winter long. I haven't had an issue uh, with it before. That's why I'm taking it out now. My hands are frozen. Like I said, it's 28 degrees out here, but I'm ready to get this thing started. So I'm just gonna take this apart, clean off all this gunk. And when you're doing this, it's gonna stink because it's been sitting. I just reached my hand into my skimmer box and cleaned out all the gunk and everything. So that's a good thing to do. Now's the opportunity to do it before the season starts. All right, so I've cleaned out my impeller and my first line of defense, my little screen there, put it back together, and I've added my check valve. If you don't have a check valve on your system, it's really important to have one. That's what this thing is here. Inside there's a little flap and it doesn't let the water flow back down into the pump. It only lets the water flow one way and that's to your waterfall. I dropped my pump into my skimmer box, hooked up my fitting, make sure that they're not rusted out. They tend to rust for some reason, they don't make them stainless steel. I guess you could get stainless steel clamps. That's probably what you should do, but I don't feel like going to the hardware store today, so we're just gonna make do with these. If you have a loose fitting, you will know it because the water's gonna spray out like crazy. And it's happened to me, so make sure that that's super tight before you turn on your system. Also, my filter pad from sitting all winter long is pretty gross. And my hose is off, so I'm going to attempt to clean this before I put it back in. So I put my, uh, this is the first line of defense. This catches most of the big debris. I washed this out, believe it or not. I know it doesn't look super clean. It doesn't have to be super clean. Uh, your bacteria grows on that. It helps break down a lot of the gunk and stuff like that that's in your pond. But I rinsed it out, put it back, and we're ready to turn this thing on. All right, so we cleaned out enough for the spring cleaning. I still have a lot of leaves to clear out of the bottom, but I'll get that at a later time. So we're gonna plug it in and bring the backyard to life. See how it, uh, that's gonna be full of stuff pretty quickly because all the leaves that have fallen on the surface are gonna get sucked into your skimmer box. So you're gonna have to check it right after you turn it on. It's always a great feeling to start the pond back up again after a long winter. So we've let the waterfall run 24 hours. It was pretty murky yesterday and you can see that it's cleared up quite a bit. My fish are still huddled at the bottom. I still have some leaves that I need to take care of and I can do that. I'm gonna wait till the water warms up. I attempted to do it yesterday, but that water was just brutally cold. But I still have ice started to form on the rocks so yeah that that just shows you how cold the water is but we're up and running and I'm ready for the season 
I hope you are too. Get your ponds up, guys. Fish are still cold, and so am I. I'm going back in the house and enjoy the view from my window. That sweet sound of the waterfall in your backyard. I've missed it. I'm glad it's back. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the sounds of spring. I hope you do the same. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the video if you found it useful. Welcome back to the season. And until next time, enjoy your backyard water garden.